too early. <laughs> mention you or whatever if they're going to post it on the internet yeah he didn't even say to me like mate I've just, I went there today is you know how do you is it all right if I post it yeah it's, I don't know right welcome to the vlog it's uh, been a bit of a frantic morning um, as per usual set off with a plan and the plan went out the window pretty much straight away um, I'm out scouting bluebells again. Um, not on my own this week. I've come with uh, Damon Amor. I will put his Instagram link up above so you go check him out. He's a great local photographer and a good friend. So if you get five, go and check out Damon. And we've come to a local woods where it is known for bluebells. And it's got a nice little valley. Um, I was there. A couple of weeks ago, I was here. Was I? I can't remember. I lost track. It's been such a hectic morning. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. A hair has just run right through the middle of my shot. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the theme is carried on. Hectic. Um, I found this nice avenue of trees. Um, I've bombed off the bluebell shot because the bluebells ain't quite out yet. Well I say quite out yet, they're not out yet. Uh, the odd one is out. Um, but There's nothing really. The shot I had in mind, which was this one here, I'll show you now, uh, which I took from a previous scouting video. Um, it's not going to work just yet. They're probably a week, maybe two weeks off. So this has turned into um, more of an impulsive shoot, which sometimes is the best thing to be doing and I've just missed the hair again talking to you <laughs> yeah there's a couple of hairs down there so um, I'll jump into the camera and I'll just show you exactly what I'm shooting but it's a very obvious shot but I think it's gonna be really nice really I'm gonna really enjoy editing this one so I'll put you behind the camera and uh, show you exactly and talk you through what I'm doing so here we are inside my image um, I'm using standard standard ratio. I'm not entirely sure. I might crop out a little bit of this top, but I bang at 200 mil. I'm an F16. Uh, let me get the image up again. I'm an F16, eighth of a second, ISO 100. You see, my histogram is well. In terms of histograms, it is may we. It is bang on where you want it to be. Um, now, even in F16. Sure, I can show you. Yeah, three by two. I'll show you on this image. In F16, the background is sharp. Let me just focus. Background is sharp, but you start to zoom out, and around mm, a third of the way down into my image, these trees here are not sharp. So what I'm doing is I'm taking, to find out which one it is now, I'm taking a separate shot, there you go, where these trees are sharp, absolutely pin sharp. And what I will do, as you can see I'm just scrolling through, the light is changing ever so slightly. Um, but I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. Yeah, so what I'll do in Photoshop is stack them as, as layers. Um, and I will blend in them trees from the right hand side just to help me get focus from front to back um, because I do think I want focus down there some people you might be saying yeah just just focus a third of the way in and then it will fall off into the distance and I have done that and I might prefer that but I do want that far distance to be sharp um, because that is where the eye is going to end up it's slightly different in a woodland scene where you have a subject and you want the distance to fall off and then yes, focus on your subject which could be a third way into your, into your image 
and then it will naturally fall off. That's fine. That's, that's nine times out of ten what I want. But in this instance, the focus is down there in the background. Um, I don't want the eye to be hung up on these trees, but at the same time, they, I don't want them blurry. I want because they're right there. I want them to be sharp all the way through, right down to my main tree, which is a nice little sapling. And there's a couple of silver birches down there as well. So yeah, one in the back. Uh, I'm gonna catch up with Damien now and just see if he's got got anything. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move on. So I found another shot. I'm not entirely sold on it, if I'm honest. But sometimes these are the ones that creep up on you when you get back, so. I'm photographing a, I thought it was a bird hide, but it's not, it's a. Deer stalker hide. It's a deer stalker hide. Uh, and it's all overgrown with brambles and bracken, and which is the part I don't like. It's very messy down in the bottom fret, bottom of my image, but the the distance is really nice. There's lots of like backlit trees, or well, side lit trees, and green. And there's a branch that comes in, sort of bottom right down across my image, which is kind of distracting. But I think like if I, um, it might hold your eye from disappearing out as well. So again, I, this is one like I said, it might creep up on me. There's, image, there's, bits, there's bits I like and there's bits I don't like. Um, what I'm thinking in processing wise is I'll probably do quite a strong vignette, darken all the foreground off. Maybe do a bit of dodging and burning on the hut, so it's so it's obviously a big part of my image, but I want the eye to sort of stick around there and then drift off into the distance. I don't want the, the background to suck you right in and you miss out that initially. So, I am going to bracket because it is quite a high dynamic range. The highlights are very bright. So I'm shooting F16 again to get everything sharp. And then I'm going to bracket a couple of stops either side. Which I don't really need to do with this camera, but I just, I'm just i just still in that Nikon crop mode. So, and being shooting digital, there's no, there's no drama. So, so yeah. Let me know what you think of it. I'm not particularly sold. <laughs> right, should we move on? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> we found this tree. If you can see it, I'll just see if I can. Uh, found this tree here and this was before we went down where I took, we took the last shots and we said, oh, we'll come back when it's... And now it has got some directional light on it, which is really nice. But also the sun shot down in the valley now and it's sort of <coughs> creating this mess all in behind. Um, so the shot's kind of, the, the shot's suffering from lack of separation now, uh, but we're going to have a go at it. Well, Damon's going to have a go at it now, anyway. I can't have a go at it now because he's bagged it. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it, also, it could be a good shot for bluebells. Like Damon just, just pointed out it. On the floor, we're littered with bluebell shoots that ain't quite out yet. Um, so, again, that's going to spring up compositions that don't work now, that will work once the bluebells are out. And I think this shot works both ways, but the bluebells would help uh, this image. And it's, it's nicely framed between two trees as well. I'll shoot some B-roll and put it over the top so you can see what I'm all about. Yeah, and it's very still right now as well. It's one of the only trees that's um, 
starting to show oh, it's showing signs of spring it's uh it's got all its new uh, green fresh leaves out and there isn't many of them at the moment uh, it's just hence the reason why it stood out and that's blended in with the background but yeah, it could be one to come back to Well, I found another, sh another shot. This is a selection of pine. There's an oak in the background. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's a beech tree in the background. Um, it's a very harsh scene, as you can see by my face. It's uh, deep shadows. Well, not even really deep shadows. Just bright and brighter highlights. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is bracket my shots um, quite substantially, like two shots two stops up, up and above but I'm putting my third my two stops above right down uh, as sort of my base exposure so I've got them an even darker shot uh, which will help me try and control them highlights um, so f11 one twentieth of a second the reason that I'm taking this image is because the sun is very harsh very high in the, in the sky but it's causing because we're still quite early in the morning it's a little bit chilly still in the shade, we've got this sort of, uh, it's not mist or haze, it's, it's not like haze, it's like a, a morning haze. Uh, and I know in Photoshop that will look really good coming in from the top left. I can uh, use that to my advantage, bring, up, bring that out in Photoshop and create. Because there's quite a, a strong colour separation. The, the greens are very green and the background is very cold and blue. Um, so it's already the shot's already got that natural natural uh, contrasting colour, and with that light I can bring in from the top left. Uh, I think this will work out quite well. So I think this is this is going to be my last shot. Uh, I think I took three images this uh, video. Me and Damien are going to keep walking, um, do a big loop back round to the car. So if I do take anything, I will um, I'll either put it on, uh, on the end of this video, or I might keep them in the bag for uh, social media. I'm not sure or future video. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the vlog, and I'm um, sorry we don't have any bluebell shots, but they're just not quite ready yet. Uh, it's going to be a couple of weeks I reckon, but I am keeping an eye on them, and I have already spotted a couple extra shots that we've talked about in this video, um, as opposed to the one I was come here for this morning anyway, so All, always, uh, always good, um, any sort of scouting is always going to be beneficial, so um, yeah, I will see you next week. Hope you have a good weekend, uh, enjoy your Sunday, and uh, I'll speak to you later. Ciao.